Today on Make Safe Crate, we're tie dye. Hey guys, I'm Corey. I'm Jess. This is Make Safe Crate, and we're tie dyeing today. So, um, this is going to be a really quick and simple how to video. We're going to run through some of the stuff you need. Um, we're going to do it two different ways. I'm going to use the right dye. Um, she's going to use this tie dye kit that we found at Walmart. Um, this isn't going to be a comparison one. I think we're going to do that in a separate video. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's get started. All right, so for these, we're going to mix them with a little bit of water. I'm not going to mix it with a whole lot, but I don't think we need to use straight dye. So, yep, let's get to mixing. So, all you need is to fill up your Dime Store Mandalorian bucket with lukewarm water, color fixative, which you can use the right dye stuff or the soda ash. This seems to be a little easier for what you want to do, so that's what we did. Uh, it's one bottle, no, it's a half a bottle for three gallons. So I did like a quarter bottle to a gallon, about, ish, I think, something like that. That's what we're doing. So then you just put your, your shirts in it, let it sit and soak for about 20 minutes. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to do what's called the spiral technique. And so to do that, just, just, just take it down, put it right in the middle of the shirt, and then just twist. And see so as you twist. Nope. So as it twists, it twists up everything with it. Oh, you has got the paper too. There you go. Good. <laughs> harder than it was. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> so then, at some point, you can just kind of, yeah, okay, do it by hand. Take the, go, you can take the dowel out, okay, <laughs> and then we're like gonna, I murdered someone there. Yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna get some rubber bands, and then okay. we're just gonna stretch it. Try to keep it in the orientation she's got, but just kind of keep it. Mm. Do this like. Over <laughs> like half of it. Uh -huh. yeah, you can tuck that in there, good. Oh my god. Pretty good? That's good. Good. Well, okay. Okay. okay, and then we'll do one over the other side. And you can do as many as you want. The whole idea is that this kind of sections it off. And then while I don't really believe it yet, supposedly for every color you put in a different pie section, that will create a color spiral all the way down to the center. I've yet to see this actually work in non-video fashion, so we're gonna find out. So, pick your colors. We're gonna do pink, because okay. you know I have to do pink. You have two different kinds. Oh wait, I want this one. Okay, you want purple, probably. Um, actually no, lime green, green and yellow. Okay. <laughs> hey, so this is from the dye kit she's got. Yes. Okay, so now that you've applied all the dye to it, you need to put it in, well, I guess you don't need to, but we're, one of the things I've seen suggested is you put it in a Ziploc bag, and that kind of keeps it from getting everywhere, like it is, which is fine. It's just gonna be what it's gonna be. I 
I'm going to try another technique I saw where you basically take your shirt and you fold it up. I'm not sure how well this is or isn't going to work, but I'll try it. Yeah, I think the more rubber bands you put on, the more it, or the more you tighten the rubber bands, I think the more it keeps dye or whatever from bleeding in that area. I'm not too worried about that. My cleanup was so much easier than yours was. Maybe it's the operator. You know what? <laughs> Bite me. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if this is gonna work, but I wanna try to make like a scoopy scoop pattern to the side. Don't know how to describe that. So once we pulled it out from the center, she rubber banded off in the sections and now she's getting ready to add colors to it. Good. This project will make you go through a lot of gloves. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up really small. So guys, we're just gonna take a bunch of little spots, kind of like we did with the bullseye, but only smaller ones. stage of this project where you know, the and, yeah, I'm not sure how it's gonna work or if it is gonna work or if it's not gonna work or how it's gonna turn out. And those usually end up being the ones we like the most. <laughs> the stuff we just tried. Like, whoo, how do you do that? I don't know. The dumpster fire. It's gonna be a hot mess. That's probably gonna look like. Yeah. Look. 
Where's the shot? Ah, you were making such a mess. Where? Over the floor. Oh, clearly. <laughs> All right, so we got the shirts. They've been sitting overnight. So this one here, we have to start rinsing. So we have to run the water. I'm going to do about lukewarm and let it just run until it's clear. So squeeze it and make sure everything's coming out okay. You, you also want to try, I think, I don't know, we're not experts. I think you want to try to do this in such a way that you don't like mix put it on the end and mix the colors. Kind of do it, you know what I mean? Okay. I think. Okay. So, all right, here we go. on the outside which I think is a, is what you want to what the shape of it makes you want to do mm -hmm. even though that's probably not the best way to do it yeah yeah, yeah. so there's that okay you want to just hang let's, let's just do this put it wherever you want the fine ring there's nothing on the table all right so this is my first fold and stripe form so I like that which, like I said, the orange is non-existent, but it is there. <laughs> yeah. um, but this was with the right dye, and the right dye orange, again, I think that's just my fault for what I got. Yeah. So, no. this one is your bullseye one. <laughs> it actually turned out pretty good. Which turned out, I think, so far, I think this is my favorite. It definitely bled like right here. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. This looks good. Like though. The, the, I mean, it did it a little bit right there with the green, too. Yeah. I can't point. So. Yeah, it did it in the green front, too. So. I like that. That looks good. This one is my Echo or <laughs> whatever one I was trying to do. Okay. Not an Echo, but it's so that's pretty. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I like it, though. It's pretty. It looks a hot mess. It looks a hot mess, but it is definitely tie-dye. Mm -hmm. No one will, do, will argue that. Yeah. So, um, this is where the order kind of gets a little confusing. Okay. This is my second folded one. Okay. Okay. You definitely needed more ink. I needed, well, no, because remember, I didn't do the centers of them. I mean, yeah. did the edges. Yeah, definitely need to add more. Like, but, I mean, it doesn't look bad. bad. No. You can kind of see at the bottom here, it kind of yeah. bled a little, the purple did. But that's okay. But it is what it is. It works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one, I believe, is your blister, pimples, nipples. No, that was the udders. udders. <laughs> that was it. I couldn't remember what you said. <laughs> this is your udder one. I like that. Which I think worked out very well. I do like These that. have not been washed, guys. They've only been dried. So the color should be set now. Okay. Should be good to wash. Okay. I like that. And this is my udders one. <laughs> which I think the back is better than the front. I but, actually like the front better than the back. <laughs> but again, at the bottom, it became a hot mess uh -huh. of them. So, yeah. That's kind of how they work. That's not bad. Uh -huh. So that's how we did it. A um, couple different techniques. We're not professionals at any of these, but hopefully this gave you guys an idea of some shirts you'd like to try. We will have a list to the stuff we use down in the comment or the whatever things below. 
Um, but most of it we got from Walmart. Yeah. Um, if uh, you want to see more videos like this, we'll have a playlist up here. YouTube can suggest something for you there. You can subscribe here. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. See ya.